This frittata is so good. It's made with prosciutto and red peppers. I'm going to show you how to make it. You know, the way I see it, you really can't have a breakfast or a brunch without eggs. And this recipe takes six fresh eggs from right here at the farm. So why don't we get started? Now what you want to do is um, you want to take a frittata pan like this. And what I've done here is I've taken four ounces of prosciutto and two leeks, finely chopped. And I'm just going to get these going over here and cook for just a few more minutes. You only need to, to saute these for about four minutes. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slice this red pepper into little long strips like this. Now what's great about red pepper, you can buy them fresh and throw them in the oven. You just split them in half, take the seeds out, put a little olive oil on them, put them in for 30 minutes at 400 degrees, take them out, let them cool, and just peel the skins off. And they are so delicious. If you want to grow red peppers, they're very easy. You can actually grow them in containers. What you need to realize is that red peppers take about 100 days to produce fruit if you start them from seed. That's why I recommend starting your peppers from plants. And what I've found is that ours here tend to produce more later in the season. So late in the summer, we get a bounty of all kinds of red peppers, but I particularly like the big red bell peppers like I'm using today. And it looks like our prosciutto and leeks are just about ready. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these off and plate them over here. Because the next ingredient, which gives some real body to the frittata, will be potatoes. So we'll just let those cool. And then I'm gonna take a tablespoon of olive oil while the skillet is still hot, and then a tablespoon of butter, yum, yum. Just turn this down just a little bit. It's getting a little too hot. You don't want it to, to pop or you don't want the butter to burn. And then I'm adding potatoes. These, this represents three potatoes, medium size. We want to get those going because we want to cook them until they're not quite soft. So what you want to do is you want to cook these potatoes for about 15 minutes until they're just tender. You don't want to overcook them. Okay, now let's get started with the eggs. I'm going to move this uh, frittata over. I hate to get rid of it. Mm, so good, but I'll come back to that in a little bit. What I want to do here is um, take six eggs in the bowl. I'm just going to push the peppers out of the way. And we're going to use these fresh eggs. I think our New Hampshire Reds laid these. I like to just crack them and check them first. Two more. Look how firm those yolks are and how lovely that color is. You want to take these six eggs and you want to mix them together like this. This will be the binder for the frittata. The whole time I'm doing this, our potatoes are cooking nicely over here. And what I want to do is begin adding ingredients to this. This is the point where everything gets all dumped in the bowl together. So I'm taking three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Yum, yum. I'm going to take about half a cup of Parmesan. I'm going to leave a little bit in here to garnish the top. I've got just a little bit for flavoring some nutmeg, about a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and then just a little bit of salt, and I want to add some cracked pepper. I really like the flavor of the cracked pepper. And then I have four ounces of goat cheese. Keep mixing it together like this. And then a fourth a cup of chopped chives, another great garden herb. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Okay, now our potatoes 
I think are about done, so I'm turning that off. And I'm going to take the prosciutto and the leeks, I'm putting those in here as well. Put this aside. And then I'm going to take all of these peppers that I prepared, and they go in here in the mixture. Look at those colors. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, now we're ready to assemble the last ingredients, which is just a matter of turning the heat on. I want to throw this garlic in first. This is about two tablespoons of finely minced garlic. I just want to mix that all together. And before it gets too hot, what you want to do is take this mixture now that we've created over here and simply pour it on top. But you want to make sure that the potatoes are even across the bottom because this is going to be the top of the frittata that you can see here. So you see how I've got them all evenly dispersed and then I just take this egg mixture and pour it in like this. Spread it around. Look at those colors. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now just to finish it off, I'll take that little last bit of Parmesan that I had and I'll dress the top of it. Now you want this to cook for just a minute or two. So we'll just cover the top like this. We're going to put it in the oven for about 15 minutes until it's firm at 350. All right, one of the side benefits of this recipe, it makes the kitchen smell incredibly wonderful. Now I'm going to finish up this piece of frittata, and I encourage you to give it a try. You'll love it.